Hello everyone. I thought we'd just do a few small videos for those people that have the Bonina Embroidery Software Editor Plus. If you don't want to digitize, then this is a really nice program for you to be able to customize some of your designs and personalize them for you. So what I did was I opened up a design and it's Blue Swirls 2. Now before we go ahead, let me just quickly run through some of the options you have here on the screen. Normal things like New, Open, Close, Edit, which we'll be looking at deeper as the lessons go on. View by colour, by needle points, show all zoom boxes, start and end, stitch sequence and the colour film. I always have mine selected. The thread colours, the fabric settings and the fabric display and the object properties and some options. And then the window. And I'll be looking at that maybe later in some of the other videos. Then we've got the picture view where well, there's nothing because we haven't loaded a picture. We don't go open a picture, we do load a picture or you can scan it. And once there's a picture on there, these will be highlighted for you to use. Then we've got the design view as you can see and we've got the artistic view. And then down the side we have some tools that we'll be using throughout the lessons. Because my screen is smaller, you can't see all of mine, but these are there. These are the same ones as you've got. Outlined designs or fills, and you've got choices from the outlines. You've got single or triple or satin blanket or pattern run, or you've got some other fills that you can try out. Here's your that, that's a multi-angle tool, and this is the color chip. As you can see, we've only got two colors in this design at present. Here you can see it's grouped and these are some of the tools we'll be using. So let's have a look at this. Now we're going to make a little design and several ways you can do this. You can do highlight it, it's grouped, make sure it's grouped, control D and then flip it and you can move it about and you can line it up etc. Oops, that's what will happen if you do that. Undo button. Undo button. And that will squash it all together too. So what I do is because I, of course it's grouped it now, so we want to ungroup that and that means we've now got to group this all over again. Actually I'm going to undo that because I don't want to confuse you. So we do the control D again and we'll flip it and move it over to one side and take this one and line it up along here and along there and then we can just align this one up if that little line's at the top that's fine and we can move it together if we wish or not and then we can group both of those and if you can't get it that way you can go like this holding down your control key and then you can group the whole thing control duplicate and flip it that way and then move that up and get oops I haven't got enough room on my screen so I'll have to do it in stages and then just make sure that that edge is lined up there and you have a pretty little shape to put a monogram in or let's do use this is a friend uses your best friend